Okay, interview with Gary Setchell after Nick of a Sports 2, Bedford Town. Now, Gary, um, tricky afternoon, difficult afternoon, loads of weird decisions, hit the post, just one of those random defeats that we just accept them. Yeah, we hit the post twice. Um, we had a great chance. Um, Con's had a good chance, didn't he? When he's straight at the keeper, he didn't the finish. But, you know, we were second best today. They were the better team. They deserve to win. Um, we, we tried the best. We huffed and puffed. Um, you know, we, we we have to, for us to get results in this league, we have to play at our absolute maximum. And, you know, we fell not far below that today, but we fell below it. And they're the results you get. You know, Charlie's lifted one over the keeper. The defender's done great. Charlie's hit the post. Butts has hit the post. Connor's had a chance. And, you know, we need one of them to go in. We need one of them four opportunities to go in to give us a little foothold in the game. Um, I thought they could make the blocks really well, started brightly. They're one of the, probably the better football teams in the league. But, you know, we, we huffed and puffed. We had a go. But, you know, the best team won on the day, and that, that was Michelover. It's it's now been confirmed by the fan base, having seen 16, 17 games at this level, that it really is a difference between taking your chances, isn't it? You know, if you take your chances, you win the game. That's, that is fine margins, you know. Like I say, if, if Con score, that's that's 1-1. One, one. You know, if Butts just goal, good. That's, that's all if Butts made. You know, that Pedge has made one or two great saves as well, like real top-class saves, especially there the second half. You know, and that would have probably been a bit harsh on as if that would have went 3-4-0. But, you know, the second goal from them is an unbelievable finish from the lad. Um, but disappointing from us to how he got there so easy. Um, and the first goal, you know, we defended really well. We made lots of blocks and then they take a quick throw in and catches out, which is really, really disappointing and, and poor play from our point of view. But, um, you know, that's, that's, that's one of them. And that's, that, you know, we knew we was good. that's going to be tough. And like I say, if we don't play to our maximum, we don't get results. Every result we've got this year, we've played to our maximum. And today we, we probably fell a little bit below our maximum. But credit Mikel over there, a good side. And, you know, I'm sure they'll put a lot of teams for the sword down here this year. You feel scoring two minutes into the second half, or conceding two minutes into the second half, it, it took the sucker out of your half-time message. Well, we felt, we felt with the wind, if we could get the next goal, the next goal would be key. If they got it, they'd probably go on to win 2 3 nil. And if we got it, we might be able to get ourselves back in the game with the foothold. So... You know, that was, a, that was the, not the wins out of Southampton. My cup of tea hadn't even gone cold and we're 2-0 down. And that was a real, you know, that was a, that was a kick in the cans for us, really. But like I say, you know, we, we didn't, we got no, you know, we got no complaints with the result. We've probably got a few complaints with, with um, our performance, certainly second half when we went 2-0 down. We didn't really, you know, pepper them or anything like that. But like I say, we huffed and puffed, we hit the post, we had a few corners. But we just lacked that cut and edge in the final third, second half. And they're all certainly be complaints from behind the goal with regards to the referee's performance what was your take on it oh, I think he got, you know there weren't any major major decisions that he got wrong or, or right or wrong I just I just felt that any 50-50 decision that probably went the home side's way which sometimes happened you know we have it at the area but I don't think there was any major decisions that the ref got wrong I just think you know perhaps he, he annoyed the fans perhaps he was a little bit you know, every 50-50 seemed to go their way. They had a certain handball that they didn't give a corner for. But nothing nothing major. There weren't any game-changing decisions that he got wrong. But he was probably probably a bit poor on the 50-50s. You mentioned there about cutting edge. Is that addressed with new clientele coming in or something that you feel you can work with the that you've got to come in and, uh, and convert those chances? Well, the clientele you've got getting here on time would be a help, wouldn't it? So, you know, we have two lads turn up at 20 past three, you know. But miscommunication or whatever, you know, they're really that they're deeply sorry, but I think that didn't help us at the start of the game, did it? So, you know, we just had a chat about that in there as well. Um, no, you know, because because you know we've scored twenty odd goals a season, we've created loads and loads of chances. That in, in the fact, you know, we just need a little bit of luck and goal, a little bit better composure, maybe. You know, one the one that hit the post to go in, you know, and one Charlie's lifted it over the keeper. In fact, when you, you perhaps two went up and everyone's going, oh yeah, we're brilliant up front. So. As such fine lines, and probably more this season than last season, where obviously last season we could roll over teams. This year, if we get four chances, we've got to take one or two of them. You know, last year we'd get another four chances, and then we'd get another four chances, but that, that, that don't happen at this level because the, the teams are a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger, a little bit better, a little bit more well-organised, definitely. Um, but we're, 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 doing, we're doing exactly what we thought we'd do. We'd get, pick up some really good results. We'd, we'd, we'd take some losses on the road, and, you know, we'd get some big wins, which we've had, so... Let's hope we can go get another big win on Tuesday. And that is the difference, as you said, because that middle chunk where our Rushton winning today, Ilkston winning against Tichard, it really does mean that it's a congested, you know, bottom 12. You're probably, probably going to be, you know, normally you get three or four teams 
you know, who get like six or seven, or like gets sort of 20 odd points. I think you're probably going to need 45, 50 points to stay up this year. You know, you look at every manager who's in the in the bottom 10, 12 is thinking, you know, what four is it going to be? You know, on no different. You know, you've seen Rustin, Rustin have picked up today. You know, Kings Langley, we played early on the season, very good team. Um, Starbridge are in there, you know, they're a good team. You know, you look at the clubs, there's some big, big clubs, you know, four big clubs are going to go down this year. We've just got to make sure, you know, that we ain't one of them, and I'm sure we won't be. I'm sure we've got enough in the dressing room. We've got enough with our, with our home form as well. Like, we, you know, we'll, we'll pick results up at home. But that is that is a real tough league. That's an enjoyable league. That's a tough league. You know, your, your, your wins, when you win, you're really high. And when you lose, obviously, that's, that's not as much fun. But, you know, the league, all in all, you know, Baseford on a Tuesday night, it's going to be really tough for us. And then we've got St. Oh's next week, a bit of a local game. That's going to be really tough for us. So we'll just keep going. We'll keep working as hard as we can. And, you know, I'm sure we'll pick the results up that we need. Just before we started the interview, it wasn't full-time, but Alf Church were winning it. Yeah. If that has stayed the same, what a fantastic achievement. Brilliant, brilliant. You know, they're a really good team as well. Um, you know, they beat us 3-0 twice. Um and you know with with Harley laid a glove on and you know a good manager a good side um, you know I hope I've done it I hope I've done it you know seven league team getting into their second round you know we, we had three teams in the first round probably that just go to show you the strength and depth in this league so you know good luck to them hopefully, they're, hopefully they've got there and um, flying the flag and just finally obviously Tuesday night related Basford yeah. which I can never say properly uh, Basford, 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 Basford whatever, whatever it is, it is. Yeah. Uh, you know so uh, has the injury where he's from today or any Charlie problems? probably Charlie's a little bit of a knock um, nah just you know we've just got to regroup and go again that's going to be really tough they're a big physical side as well very direct um, they'll work the socks off and if and if we're not at it on Tuesday you know if, we, if we're not at it Tuesday we will get beat there we go, Vamp. If we're not at it Tuesday, we will get beat. And we will see you at Bassford on Tuesday, North Nottingham. Get your lifts, get yourself there. See you soon. But he didn't let me say, but if we 